Hey guys, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater Channel. Alright, so I'm here at my house and I have a AI mesh system for my Wi-Fi. So that's a, a mesh system of Asus routers. I have five of them. I'm adding a sixth router now to my back barn. So I'm going to talk about how you get Wi-Fi back from your house to either a barn or a pond or, um, you know, across the road. These things can actually go uh, miles. Uh, it's a point-to-point -point system. And so it takes place of either Ethernet or any other type, you know, power over, I mean, sorry, Ethernet over power line, or the other one is Mocha, which is over coax. So this is purely wireless, and I'm going to talk about how I get it from, I get Wi-Fi all the way from this house to that barn to that far back barn. And uh, I also get it way down to my pond as well. So let's go through and uh, show, show you how I do that. All right, guys, so this is my barn. That's my house over there. And I have a Cat 6, I think, or a Cat 6 or 7 Ethernet buried in the ground between those two buildings. And then I have a router in the barn. And then I have a um, Ethernet over power line adapter that goes on the power cable that goes from that barn back to that far back barn. And that's only, I mean, it's 120 feet. I'll have to look it up, but it's not that far, but for... The Ethernet over power line, that's too far, right? And it really drops my speed down. So I've been struggling with speed at that far end. It hasn't been a big deal. Um, I only have, I used to only have one camera and I have two cameras out there. So I want something um, better. So I got a, uh, a new thing to show you guys that is going to beam my Wi-Fi wirelessly um, down there. So um, it's, it takes place of an Ethernet cable, basically. So it's a it's a point-to-point -point connection that uses Wi-Fi, but it's specific because it's very concentrated like a little laser beam and points one place to another. So that's what I'm going to install today and I'll show you the speed difference between um, what I'm doing right now and what I'm doing then as well as how I install it. Okay, so for this video, uh, the sound didn't work, so I'm going to have to talk over it here um, to show you what I purchased and uh, what's kind of in the box and whatnot. So uh, these here are the uh, wireless point-to-point -point um, bridge device so you put one of these at each um, end where you want to um, to send the signal and basically they um, they're set up so they are external outside the house and you mount them up to a pole or to the building and then you point them at each other now there's two ways that you can attach them one way is a direct screw to the side of the building but I don't like to do that so I actually use the pole mount uh, so I had to buy a little pole kit on the inside you can see there's ethernet cable and there's a also an optional 12 volt power um, source or plug but you don't need it because you're going to use um, power over ethernet so they give you a little injector here that um, you plug into a wall outlet and it sends power through the ethernet cable as well as the data through the ethernet cable and then they're set up they sold as a pair uh, for under 100 bucks and they say they're plug and play. So I bought a set of these before, um, a TP-Link brand, so a different brand. I had to do setup on those. These they say they're direct um, setup, and so that's what we'll find out. Uh, one is set up as a station, and the other one's access point. So they include um, a little Ethernet cable, but it's kind of worthless because it's uh, like a foot long. And then they also give you uh, the large zip ties that go around your pole mount if that's how you're going to do it so uh, here are my uh, my pole mounts I bought these because they are um, they're stainless steel for the tube and then they also are aluminum for the L bracket and they allow you to mount the devices several different ways um, lots of different angles so you can basically use this on either a roof uh, an eave a soffit uh, side of the house uh, pretty much any orientation you should be able to figure out uh, a way to get it to work and so the nice thing about these is that they have a cap on the tube um, on both top and bottom my other ones i bought don't have that and i'm you know something where a wasp or whatnot could um could build a nest so these are um these seem like a good um good product here Alright, so the last thing I bought was obviously Ethernet cable. You know, I had to buy a longer one. This was actually a Cat 8, uh, which is overkill. You know, it only needs to be a Cat 5E because the downside to these um, is even though they are 5 gigahertz, 
you know, I think that has a it's several hundred um, megabits per second uh, speed capability for the Wi-Fi itself, but the um, Ethernet port is actually only a um, hundred megabit per second Ethernet port. So it um, that's your slow bottleneck. That's the fastest these can go. So you only need a cat. Uh, five really to um, to achieve that so that's something to uh, to note some of the higher end ones uh, meaning like several hundred dollars for a pair of them uh, they do now do the gigabit um, speed but um, these and my other ones are just a, a hundred um, so um, this is the uh, Ethernet cable I'll run that up along the wall and connect it it does come with um, little fasteners if you wanted to use those to secure it to the wall that's about all there is to it. Um, I just got to get these uh, mounted up. All right, so my barn's a disaster because I just spent more time making these videos than, uh, than cleaning up. But here is one of my Asus AI mesh routers. I have five of them. Now I'm adding a sixth one. And um, right now, this gray cable comes out and goes into this TP link. And that is the Ethernet over power line. So this circuit comes off of this breaker and it goes to that back um, that back barn. Um, so it's on the exact same cable. It doesn't even go through a breaker, but that length obviously goes up through here. I mean, it's probably a 200 foot long run. And so it struggles to um, to get as quick a speed. It has some, some um, you know, lag in it. So I'm gonna try this uh, new bridge out and see how that works. So I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna run a ethernet cable from this guy up here along this pipe and out and then I'm going to put it out um, so let's see over there goes along that wall on that pipe comes over here stays along here and then I'm going to come out this corner and when I poke out that corner lo and behold there's that building out there All right, so I just taped the uh, Ethernet on to the end of that drill bit to drill bit off and then I just feed that through here. There we go. One thing that's nice about this Ethernet cable is it comes with a little clip that goes on the end and actually protects the uh, connector so it's great for feeding it through walls you don't have to worry about getting messed up so now that's out there now you just have to mount the um, the pole All right, so now I'm just going to uh, attach this with the uh, zip ties. If I can just eyeball it to point back towards that back barn.
Okay, so for this back building, I'm going to mount the uh, bracket here, but I'm gonna drill a hole here for the water. Just so I like keeping it underneath the, uh, the eave there to uh, help with weather. Mosquitoes are attacking. Bad. All right, so now we're inside this back building. I can grab this ethernet. Alright, so I messed up a little bit on my uh, link for my ethernet cable for here. I thought I had a longer one, but I don't. So I had to run this little power cord extension to get the um, power uh, injector uh, close enough so I could actually play everything in. So I'll get a longer ethernet cable and move this guy closer to this outlet where I want it. I guess what the short cable that they give you is good for is to go from the power injector back to uh, to uh, this guy so I can actually use that in this case here because I'm so close so the little injector has two ports one of them is LAN so that's the one that's going to go to this guy and then uh, the one that says PoE is the one that's going to go out to your unit outside So 
For this one, I'm just gonna go to the land port. Actually, on this guy, it's a, a land port because it's the ASUS AI mesh, but typically you would just go to land on whatever device you're plugging into. And you could be plugging into a camera or to a, um, a game box or whatever you wanted or needed um, the ethernet for. You know, for me, it's obviously going to a router so that I can spread Wi-Fi around here. This guy is now hooked up and now it's going through um, that wireless connection. And this is a part of a mesh network. So um, now I can test my phone and see how it, uh, how it connects. So let me, um, I can do a speed test. All right, so what this is doing, this is going from my phone and I'm running an app. It's going by Wi-Fi to this AI mesh router. Then it's going through ethernet up to the wireless bridge. That's going wirelessly back to my, my second barn up there. And then it is um, going through that ethernet to another AI mesh router on the LAN. And then it's going through ethernet back to the house, back to my main AI mesh router and then wirelessly from that to my computer and this is the speed I'm getting uh, so it's it's pretty good I mean it's pretty consistent now you know for some reason my computer seems to be maxed out around 100 um, I'm not sure what's doing but this is basically running at the maximum speed that this 100 megabit per second connection can do you know there's a couple places where I'm down but if you look at the UDP it's doing 92 average um, for up from here and 70 down so not bad all right well there we have it uh i got it all set up and you know the speed test shows that it is uh basically right at that 100 megabit per second limit that the ethernet connection is so i'm getting that all the way back to my house